Hey, this is Steven Johnson of In Town Web Design, and I'm here today to talk about some of my favorite plugins for Joomla to improve performance. Uh, these are plugins that will get your site running faster and more efficiently, and that's better, uh, better user experience and more page views. So, the first one is JotCache, and this is a caching extension that essentially replaces the Joomla core cache component. Uh, you can use a core cache, but you don't have a lot of features and functionality with that one. Say if you want to exclude pages or exclude components, you're not able to, but with JotCache, you're able to do that. Um, and it can be downloaded from one of the links below. Uh, it's a free extension, and I've actually worked with the developer on a few things, and a uh, super nice guy, and really helped me out. So. Uh, as far as caching goes for the website, I like JotCache. The second extension that I really like is CDN for Joomla from No Number. Uh, these guys make all top-notch extensions, and CDN for Joomla allows you to easily attach a content delivery network to your Joomla site. Uh, the way this works is you install the plugin, you tell them the name of your CDN and where it's located, and then the plugin will take all your images and move it from www.yourdomain.com over to cdn.yourdomain.com and now the images won't be served from your website instead of they'll be served from anywhere from 6 to 20 different locations all around the world which will greatly increase the, site, the speed of your site especially for people that are far away from your server so most likely you're probably hosted here in the US um, but if you have visitors from Australia, Europe, they're going to get the images, which are the, probably the bulk of your website, from a server closer to them. So uh, CDN for Joomla is the fastest, easiest way to uh, add a CDN to your site. You do have to pay for the CDN service, um, and there are quite a few good options there, good low-cost options for you. But that is a whole other topic, and you can find that post here at InTown Web Design. The next extension that I really like is JavaScript Control. In every core Joomla install, there are four scripts that sometimes you need and sometimes you don't. They are core.js, caption.js, mootools-core.js, and mootools-more.js. Sometimes you need them if you're running a lot of fancy things. Sometimes they're not needed. With all the sites that we build, I really try to avoid using these scripts, keep everything simple, and as low, little JavaScript as possible. So, when you don't need a script, why do you need to load it? Well, that's where JavaScript control comes in, and it allows you to disable any or all of those four core Joomla scripts. Um, you'll, if you use any page test loaders, let you know what's being loaded. A lot of times you'll see those scripts and they'll run slow, so you can use JavaScript control, disable them all, make sure you still have all the same functionality in your site, and then you've lightened up your page by quite a few kilobits. So uh, JavaScript control is a great way to lighten up your page and you use less JavaScript than you need. The next extension that I really like is Script Merge. And this one will take all of your CSS files and your JavaScript files and combine them into a single CSS file or a single JavaScript file. Makes it easier for the browser to load and just simpler all around. There are options out there that will uh, combine them all but it might turn into a PHP file. And that's fine if you're not using a CSS or a, a CDN rather, but if you are using a CDN then it's not going to see, even though it is JavaScript, it's going to see it as a PHP file or even though it is CSS, it'll see it as a PHP file. So with uh, script merge, it keeps it as a JavaScript or keeps it as a CSS, and so then it can be loaded from a CDN and combined, space can be removed. Script merge gives you the ability to exclude particular JavaScripts or CSS. So it's very good, very functional, kind of single-use thing, whereas JFinalizer, some of the other bigger ones, kind of do all-in-one. Uh, but for this instance, I like having the single use, just merging those two things, excluding the files I don't need. And again, you'll see some good, good performance by combining and minimizing those uh, JavaScript and CSS files. So, This has been Steven Johnson of InTown Web Design, talking about four extensions for Joomla that will really help make your site go faster. 
So thanks and keep checking back to our site.